guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Just one week after his adult daughter publicly asked for $500,000, saying he was being taken advantage of by a caregiver, John Amos, 83, accused his daughter of assaulting him. Earlier this week Amos, who has been in good times, coming to America, and the West Wing, shared a video on his son's TikTok account. A medical robe covers him. While his son KC stands at his bedside, I am quite competent, he assures him, and I have full faith in the medical team that my son has organized for me here at home. That makes me feel fantastic. Prior to my hospitalization, I had been having recurring problems with my daughter, whom I believe has used me. If you had to guess, you'd point the finger at her first. I'm not sure whether that's the proper terminology. M. Why elder abuse was most likely caused by her. There's no doubt that this is an instance of elder abuse. Recently, he had to go to the hospital because of water retention and a couple of other issues. But he said that everything was now corrected or at least addressed. Recently, Shannon, Amos's 56 year old daughter, caused anxiety when she claimed in an Instagram post that her father, the beloved TV actor, was the victim of elderly abuse at the hands of a caretaker. The last two weeks have been absolutely devastating. The elderly mistreatment and financial exploitation of which my father was a victim. We're working with the CBI and local law enforcement to find those responsible and bring them to justice. Having access to legal representation is critical to ensuring their conviction and safeguarding my father's future. She emphasized the need of providing a secure environment for his return to his now empty house. She started a GoFund to raise $500,000 for her father's treatment, legal bills, and aftercare, and she assured her supporters that every penny they gave would go into a trust. Send us your love and light the fire of hope for the day when we may dance together again. Before the fundraising page was taken down, it was impossible to tell how much money had been collected. Three days later, Amos sent a statement via his long term publicist to reassure fans that everything was well. As his daughter had said, he informed TMZ that he was not fighting for his life and that he would be providing additional details at a later time. Shannon said she had contacted the Colorado Bureau of Investigations about her worries, and the CBI has since verified it had received a complaint and was looking into the matter. Shannon has not yet addressed her dad's accusations. Amos's marriage to Noel J. Mickelson produced her and her brother, Casey. When his daughter told him about the Goffin she had put up, Amos was shocked. I just wanted to let everyone that supports me know that everything is okay. I'm not in the intensive care unit, and my life isn't in danger. As a first step, I'd want the money raised for my Goffin campaign to be refunded to the donors as soon as possible. When the moment is right, my son and I will share additional details, he told people earlier.